All right, let's get into the first topic then. And should we reduce the speed limit from 60 to 50? Now, the Scottish National Party has proposed lowering the national limit to on single carriageways and it's thought that Wales could potentially follow suit. Now, ministers say that the move could lead to a significant reduction in the number of casualties, and they claim that it wouldn't really impact journey times. However, the Scottish Tories say that it's a clueless move and that it will backfire because more drivers will be attempting risky overtakes uh, to get over or around rather slower vehicles. I'd love to hear from you, particularly if you're a driver, would you be in favour of this? 0207 862 is the number that you need for your view. Andy, how do you feel about this? You do quite a lot of touring around the country. I do, I do. I did, um, uh, during the summer, a two-month non-stop road trip all over the UK, England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, North East, South West. And when I got to the Welsh bit, I really felt it was like a bit of a pain that I was going more slowly. I could tell I was doing 20 miles an hour through villages and towns and I was going more slowly on the main roads. And it did feel like a pain at first, but then after a couple of days and I got used to it, what I realised was I wasn't actually having to set off earlier to get to where I was going because the traffic was calmer, the behaviour at the junctions was more relaxed, more chilled, and actually the, ri uh, the driving was more fun. I wasn't so stressed because I get I don't love I'm not I'm not someone who enjoys driving I hate driving in fact it stresses okay. me out normally but in Wales where you're forced to go slow it felt really nice well that's really interesting because since that's come in in Wales we've had a number of people calling just absolutely furious about it and saying that actually nobody's adhering to it anyway so I would have thought you were the only one that was actually well, <laughs> listening to the rules I was I was then the Capanese English guy driving around adhering to Araf 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 you get used to this thing I'm now fluent in Welsh because I know this word <laughs> well then that's helpful you're going slow enough to be able to read the signs and learn your Welsh uh, what do you think Cloudy? I just find it exhausting. Can they think of another way to make drivers' lives even more difficult? Well, I mean, I, I mean, when you, if you're in the major cities, you wouldn't ever even see a, a place you could drive at 60. That, that just doesn't exist. So it doesn't really affect those in towns. It affects when you go outside a bit more. And I think the, 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 I would wonder whether it's a way to earn more money out of people. Because if, if you drive on the motorways, for example, now, they're all variable speed limits, aren't they? So you think, oh, I'm okay to go at 70. Oh, no, that sign says 60 and that says 40. It's this constant, what speed do I need to be going at? It's really, really stressful. I just think they've overcomplicated okay. it massively. It's interesting that you're saying that they've overcomplicated yeah. but what we could get is, instead of this sign, so in a single carriage weight, that yeah. means 60. Yeah. We could get that yes. a lot more clear. We know what yeah. that means. That means but 50, it there's no argument. But it'll be like, some will be 60, some will be 50, some will be 40, some will be 30. It's going up and down, up and down. I mean, and of course, you'll be able to find people if they do what used to be 60 in an hour 50 mile per hour. I'm rate. just imagining now, because I tell you what happened after I drove out of the north of Wales back yeah. into, you know, towards Liverpool and that, I was on the motorways and I was the guy in the slow lane, I hasten to add, going at 60 when I could have gone at 70. And I thought, I am ch a changed man. And it was so relaxing. The, the um, petrol gauge went down much more slowly because you know every 10 miles you go faster, the more the petrol is burned up at that higher speed. So emissions would be down? Emissions would be down too. And, to the you know, statistically... So, oh, just leave us alone! It's this <laughs> obsession with you, rules and surveillance and bossing people about. Why can't they just leave but us hold alone? On. Isn't that what the roads are, just full of rules? Well, they I didn't mean, used to be. be. The rules are just... More people down. They were just snacking... No, well, you want to go back to the time when it was like Mr. Toad, pop, pop, well, no, driving his car I just, across the field. I just think, particularly when you're out of the, the uh, of, of towns, you have a completely empty stretch of road and the speed limit is arbitrary. Well, well, and you can, I ruin and this conversation I've, I, by introducing statistics? Oh, but yeah, but you can pick and can choose I? statistics. Okay, do carry on. on. Oh, well, let me pick and choose something. Yeah, go no, on. For every, every kilometre you lower someone's speed limit, that uh, on average reduces the risk of fatalities by eight. So that's eight lives actually you could be saving just by going yeah, a bit slower. I would, slow, I would, it doesn't I would automatically say, where does that come from? What's it based on? People throw figures like that all over the okay, place. Okay, but, but you could argue about the numbers, but what you can't argue about is, would you rather be hit by a car going 50 miles an hour or 20 miles what an hour? What I would do is follow the green cross code and look both ways before I cross the road. How stupid do you have to oh, be? But oh, but hold on. Problem. I'm not going to be darting across a road that's, that's 50 or 60 miles an hour. Only this is mad the whole, people this is do the that. Whole, this is the whole problem, though, I think, on our roads. And I see it often in London where cars go very slowly is people who are driving cars think they have priority on the roads. They actually don't. You never have priority on the roads. Pedestrians are allowed to stand in the yeah. road. And Even if they are walking them. across yeah. the road with their headphones on, looking like yeah, a zombie yeah. with their I'm a pedestrian too, we're, yeah. we're, we're so, both. So, the question still stands, 
because you're you're questioning Andy's yeah. stats, but actually we all know that the slower a car's going, the more chance of survival if there's impact. Yeah. And and so this would save lives. If we talk about if we talk about saving lives, then we should have no cars on the road whatsoever. Well, and no how bicycles, would you feel and no that? bicycles, and no scooters, because they also run down people. So is that how you want to live? The reality is that we are a country that has to people have to get from one place to another. And in the country where you don't have buses, you don't have tubes, trains are very expensive. People drive. You mm. need to drive. So Larry, now, you're we to don't want them to be doing ninety miles an hour. Get with the program. You're not going to be able to choose your own speed anyway soon because it's going to be driverless cars, well, and the car will decide what well, speed you go. Well, if you can afford the driverless car, I mean, again, people who have ultra modern expensive cars, they will be inured from this because it gives you an alarm every. Time you guess go what the, the speed average speed? Limit, guess what car. the average speed on a Scottish road is oh, where the limit is 60 miles an hour. Anywhere, 51 this is the E9, isn't it? 51 miles yes, an hour. Because what... So why not make it 50 no, miles an hour? I don't. I, I, no, I, I read that one as well, and it corrects me if I'm wrong. If you live in that area, but it's the main road up to the Highlands, which I have driven along quite recently, and I believe there's quite a long stretch of that where they have a 50 mile per hour limit already, which I'm wondering was in preparation of this announcement coming out that they were getting everybody no one. ready. No Cameron. one's annoyed about it. They all and love it. No, everybody, everybody is annoyed about yes. it. I okay. think. But but so Lowry may actually have a point here, particularly maybe in Scotland and particularly in Wales, where there is lots of rural roads. Mm. You're unlikely to have a child running across the A9 in Scotland. So do does is that the place where we're we should not be talking reducing about, We're not the... talking about school crossings. Are we? We're talking about people who are driving we're talking about sensibly saving safely lives. and a little bit more slowly, so they're not going to fly off at a corner or if it's rainy weather or if it's soggy soggy or foggy as it very often is <laughs> yeah, okay. don't shoot me but it yeah. often is in beautiful scotland that's why it's so verdant um that, that actually people being forced to slow down a little bit and actually i think it's got a holistic benefit as well because i really i'm sorry i really did feel and <laughs> i yogurt at the wheel i was now eating when you're organic driving. yogurt whilst driving <laughs> now that's dangerous <laughs> and listening, I, to classic listening to enya, I was listening and enya, to enya. Oh, and God, i just really? left sailing across the roads at my own pleasurable pace and um which is you know, Which it was is nice. Lovely, but most people are rushing to get somewhere. They've got to pick up the kids there and go to school there and get their job. Maybe and do less the rush is what we need that. in well, this world. Well, do let us know how you feel about this. 0207 862 is the number we're getting messages in. Karen on X says, I remember car speeds had to be reduced in the 1970s during the fuel shortage. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, you've got more miles per gallon by the car doing it. So actually, if they just Put that out there as a bit of education. You might see the road Lisa, speeds people go down choice. anyway. Save lives. Well, then people save will save money. Save, save life, save money, save the environment, or get there a little bit quicker, <laughs> if you have the choice. <laughs> um, Neil on X says, how about teaching people to drive properly? The most dangerous drivers on the road are the ones who lack confidence. Oh, oh is that the ones that go <laughs> slow? Um, and put put all about <laughs> 40 causing tailbacks and overtaking. Neil, I think, was directing that to you, Andy, going <laughs> 10 Am miles. I, <laughs> I, I don't be know you. It sounds people. like you like to poodle. If you're in a one litre Fiesta, you can only poodle. Um, Jackie from Essex, what's your view on reducing the speed limits? For, we're talking about single carriageway here. Um, I think it's a brilliant idea. We have actually live in an area where we have a dual carriageway. Can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah, we're listening. That's why oh. we're not talking. Right. Um, yeah, the dual carriageway goes um, right from Essex up to London. Very, very, very busy. Mm -hmm. And I love a bit of speed, or I used to when I was younger. Um, but they changed a lot of the areas down from 70 to 50 mile an hour, and it is brilliant. So much safer and calmer. And when you're joining that dual carriageway, to come on the slip road and join the traffic is much safer, less stressful. I wonder as well, because there was a theory, I watched a documentary on motorways a while back, and there's a, an elastic band on traffic theory where if you go really fast, you hit traffic, and it all sort of condenses in spaces, whereas if you reduce the traffic down by 10 miles per hour, 20 miles per hour, everyone goes slower, but there's less traffic jams, which goes along the lines of you not having to leave any earlier there if you're a, going to 20 miles There are scientists whose entire lives and careers are based around traffic flow, and you're right that by slowing down all traffic, you don't get this wave effect where but, you have people But when you're driving starting. at 50 oh, miles per hour, it's very hard 
to imagine that that's true because it does feel like it slows you down. But maybe that's why it makes it more relaxing, Jackie. That's really interesting. And it does feel like they are doing it in, in many places and many motorways as well, reducing it down to 50 for long stretches under the guise of roadworks that seem to go on for years. Well, I've been on a motorway where they've said, um, uh, you know, maximum speed reduced for some of that climate change or reduced emissions. Like, hang on a second. So what? So that now we're just that's they'll use any argument they can just because they just don't want to, us driving our cars. It just make it as impossible. So, as so you do, you take this as quite a sinister move to it stop people sinister. driving think, in general. I think we can see in, uh, to, excuse me, the direction of travel here. The direction of travel here is they don't want us to drive at all. They just and therefore anything they could do to make it more difficult, they will do. I okay. mean, uh, Jackie, thank you very much for your call. Catherine from Fife, what's your view on this one? Hi there. So what I would say is that, uh, sorry, can I just check that you hear me? I can hear you, Catherine. Yep, Perfect. You you Thank do. you. Thanks for accepting my call. So I've been, uh, this is one of my bugbears, so I'm all for saving lives. But what I would say is that who's going to enforce it? Where I stay, there's a 30 mile limit um, and nobody enforces it. And also, as you're a fellow Scots person, Storm, I'm sure you know about the A9. Yes. Now, I, that road is an absolute nightmare. So how would that work? I think there are a lot of speed cameras at the moment on the A9, average speed cameras. And, and actually, we know a panellist in particular... <laughs> I won't mention who it is, but she did announce on the show that she got two tickets in 15 minutes of each other on the same road because she believed it was 60 when it had See been brought yes. down to, to 50. Yeah. So, I mean, that certainly made the council some money. I think maybe what you're discussing here is when it's 30 mile per hour zones, there's maybe fewer cameras on those roads but when it comes to sort of the A9 and in other roads, we might see more average speed cameras pop up but do you think that's just a money-making scheme like Lowry might suggest? Well I would probably agree with that um, but it's how much is it going to cost to actually enforce it um, with all the extra average speed cameras that they would need to bring into play um, and I know people need to get to where they need to get to so from what I understand is that they're going to bring the car speed to the same as the lorry speed. Yes. So you can understand lorries can go a bit slower. You see on the roads, especially up here, lorries are trying to overtake. Every, you know, although, although the roads are quieter um, in Scotland compared to England, uh, I don't know. Catherine, it <laughs> terrifies me. It does work. terrify me every time I see one of those massive sort of Eddie Stobart type lorries mm. trying to overtake you another lorry, and you're thinking, "Fly thinking, past you when you were doing well, your honking their horn at me." I thought they were. I thought they fancied me. <laughs> well, you never know, speed, Andy. Yeah, you <laughs> never know. Catherine, thank you for your call. Thomas from Cheshire, what's your thoughts on this? Uh, I think that in some cases there's an argument for speed limits to go up um, because of the fuel that a car uses when it's at a lower uh, speed mm. it produces more C CTO and then if you, if you took it across the board motorways included and we had a 55 mile an hour speed limit across the board mm. well that is the most economical you can drive at and then everybody benefits because like these unseen deaths being happening because of pollution and you're on about saving lives and saving money well, it doesn't make sense to make everybody drive so slow that your car's so uneconomical that you, you'd actually create more pollution. OK, you Thomas, you're, you're, you're slightly confusing me there because we all were in agreement earlier that if you reduce your speed to 50 miles per hour, you use up less fuel and therefore you're, you're producing less emissions. But what you're suggesting no, it's, it's, is increasing right. from 30 to 50 in 30 mile per hour zones? Increasing no, not, not on a 30. No, what, what, if, you, if you reduce the speed limit to, to, to a certain level, your car becomes less economical. Okay, so well, therefore, it takes longer to get there. So therefore, you are using more fuel. Well, th that's the basic. If you're going there, the... the, the Alt the, the 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 speed limit to go at the most efficiency is fifty five mile an hour. It's proven. Oh, yeah, that's the, that's but that is, that's, so Thomas, so that's you're in what, agreement with yeah. this policy. That's then precisely the point. Saying. That if you if you don't whack the speed limit up and say people are going eighty, the difference between that and fifty, you are going to be burning more CO two. 
Well, that's that's the whole the whole point of it is the is it the, it's the speed that you're going at for Perhaps I got confused. For the I thought you were in disagreement with this policy, but actually, in having a conversation with it, it sounds like you're very much in favour of this policy. Fifty-five would be over this speed limit, wouldn't it? Okay, I mean, five well, miles per hour. Yeah, but if you, you want to get compromise, five, well, I, I'll, I'll try the government next time they find me, I'll say, well, it was only fifty-five. <laughs> it wasn't fifty. I think under fifty-five. I don't know whether you would get a speeding fine if it was a fifty mile per hour zone because you get ten percent. Allowance? Yes, although that's a little no, you bit don't, of a No, myth. no, you yeah. don't Is get it a little bit of a No, I, okay. I, I did two miles over the, the mm. speed limit and I got a speed awareness course. The police say the two limit is okay. the miles limit. miles over. And the limit so, yeah. is the limit, so don't yeah. listen to me at all. I was completely yeah. wrong on that. Okay.